Okay, so for a sine and a cosine graph, there's a couple key points that we want to make sure we mention out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deal with the positive uh, first period of the sine graph and the positive first period of the cosine graph. So let's uh, graph on this one f of x equals sine of x. And on this one, let's graph f of x equals cosine of x. So remember, at sine of x, the angle at 0 is equal to 0. And then at pi over 2, we go up to 1, negative 1. So at pi over 2, we go to negative 1. And then at pi, we're going to go back down to 0. At 3 pi over 2, we go down to negative 1. And at 2 pi, we go come back up to 0. And what you can see is this is what we call one cycle or one period. You can see that the graph has started at 0. It went up, crossed, went back down, and completed one cycle or one period. So now the key important points is we have our maximum value. This is the maximum height that my graph, um, that my graph achieved during its cycle. Here is your intercept. And then here is your minimum value that the graph achieved, right? And we also have intercepts right there and right here. And then it's also just important to know that this is what we call one period, all right? So our cycle has completed one period. Now for the cosine graph, it's a little bit different, but very similar. So when cosine of x equals 0, we actually start off at, not negative 1, at 1, and, when cos and then negative 1. So at pi over 2, though, the cosine of pi over 2 is actually going down to 0. Then the cosine of pi goes down to negative 1, or negative 1 down there. Then we look at the cosine of 3 pi over 2 goes back up to 0, and the cosine at 2 pi goes back up to 1. So in graphing the key points here, we're going to connect and we're going to see it crosses at pi over 2. It has a minimum value, another intercept, and then a maximum value. So we can say here, we're actually going to have a maximum value. We're going to have an x-intercept at pi over 2. We're going to have a minimum value at pi another x-intercept at 3 pi over 2, and then a completion of our cycle and a max value at 2 pi. So when talking about the key points, you want to look for the start and the end completion of your cycle, and then also the maximum and minimum points of your, of your graph, as well as the x-intercepts. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a brief little description of all the important points of a graph. Thanks.